All right, morning everyone. I'm looking a bit Christmassy in here today. There's Ronnie with the discarded treats here. Yeah, she did, she gets a lot of treats, but she doesn't eat them. She just sort of sits there, but she likes to have them nearby just to, you know, when she wants to, she can sort of chomp on them a bit. <laughs> and it looks like I'm spoiling her with all these treats, but she gets them like every few days maybe, and she just sort of stockpiles them. Uh, anyway, we just got back from a walk. Her paws are a bit muddy. I'll give them a bit of a wipe, but I am pretty knackered. I had him, um, like me and Alex both got COVID about six weeks ago and I still don't feel right, you know. With Ronnie, it's okay because she's older. We don't go on like big long hikes with her, but I still get a bit out of breath and yeah, still feeling a bit rough. I'm hoping I haven't got long COVID. I think it's just what they call post-viral fatigue, where you just feel really tired after a virus. But apparently that can last months, so I'm hoping. I feel like I feel like the walks are helping me out. Anyway, enough whinging. I'm just I was just saying that because I've got back from a walk and I'm not out of breath. Um, day thirteen, isn't it? I think. Yeah, yeah. Day twelve's there. I can see. Day thirteen. Slightly broken the box here. Okay, we've got we've got. Oh, and I'm pleased to say Ronnie didn't have the shits today <laughs> for the first time in a few days. Um, what I've been doing is, I think someone did say cut back on the treats. Um, I, I'm only really, I'm not giving her loads of treats. So in these advent calendar, it's not too bad. It's, uh, you know, it's not too much, I don't think. But um, I've been just giving her, like, her simple food, like... Um, I'm not trying to mix up the proteins that I'm giving her. I'm just giving her a simple like chicken beef, chicken beef offal and tripe, which is what she has been eating for a while and been fine on. So I just give her that for a few days. It seems to be okay. So I might not have to take her to the vet, but I'll keep an eye on it. <laughs> anyway, we've got these uh, bones. She's very so-so about these. She'll eat them, but she's always got a kind of grudging look on her face like, nah. Well, if that's all you're going to give me, then I suppose lay them. We'll lay them down in a very tempting manner. Look at the presentation I've put into this. Do you want to eat that? Hmm. She's like, no, is that it? Those bones again. You know I despise those things. So let's do sometimes. Oh no, she doesn't want she doesn't want me to do it. Stick a little treat in a kangaroo pouch there. Oh, I can't even can't even get it in there with one hand. That usually gets her a bit more excited. She's like, oh something in there. See? Doesn't matter what it is, if you want to trick her into eating something, just put it in the kangaroo's pouch. Gets her gets her excited. Well, now we're talking, she says. Now the jig is on, whatever the hell that means. <laughs> I think I meant to say the jig is up, but realised halfway through that was the wrong phrase to use in this situation. Yeah, well, there you go. Ronnie's going to enjoy her biscuity bones. And uh, that'll be that. All right, Ronnie. Enjoying your uh, your treat. It's getting a bit more Christmassy, isn't it? It's all getting a bit more exciting. We're getting there. We're more than halfway towards Christmas, so yeah, enjoying that. Yum yum yum. How delicious. Okay, well we don't have to watch you eat at all. We get the idea, don't we? We know what a dog eating a biscuit looks like now. Finally. So, uh, well, we'll see you. See you tomorrow then, will we, Ronnie? Yeah? All right, bye.